Hi everyone. In this video we'll demonstrate a fundamental inequality satisfied by real numbers. The triangle inequality. Now this has uh, lots of applications in mathematics. For example to demonstrate the properties of limits of functions. Let's discover the maths. First, remember what we mean by absolute value or modulus. A simple way to think of it is just the value of a number without any minus sign. But the formal definition is if x is a real number, then mod x is minus x if x is less than or equal to 0, or x if x is greater than 0. The absolute value of 0 is just 0. Often when we want to demonstrate a property using absolute value, we have to consider different cases depending on whether the inside of the absolute value is positive or negative. To prove the triangle inequality, we won't do it this way. We'll do it directly, in general, and we'll reason with numbers other than zero, since if x and y are zero, uh, the property is clearly trivial. From the definition of absolute value, we have that if x is negative, then mod x is minus x. And so we obtain, in this case, that x is minus mod x. If x is positive, we have that x is mod x. Notice that here we have minus a positive number, which is a negative number. And here we have an absolute value, which is a positive number. In general, then, x can take two values minus mod x or mod x, so that x is between minus mod x and mod x. If we reason the same way with another real number, y, we obtain that y is between minus mod y and mod y. Now if we add these two inequalities, we can take out the common factor of the minus, giving us minus bracket mod x plus mod y is less than or equal to x plus y, which is less than or equal to mod x plus mod y. So we've shown that this number x plus y is between minus that number and the number. Finally, we obtain that the absolute value of the number is less than or equal to the number and we have the triangle inequality for real numbers. The result we've obtained is called the triangle inequality for real numbers, but it's named because in the case of triangles, the length of one side is always less than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides. What's more, our result generalizes to all normed vector spaces and can be seen as an axiom of these. The norm of the sum of two vectors is less than or equal to the sum of the norms. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.